hello beautiful stars and welcome back to my channel welcome if y'all are new my name is jazz and this is why do i feel like this is off there we go this is going to be a general reading for the sign of capricorn sun moon rising venus and jupiter i hope you all are doing well sit back relax take a chance y'all can smash that like button leave a comment down below just don't forget to make sure that you and your little monkey butt are subscribed to the channel what is going on for more content and for more of me capricorn all right angel spirits and guides show us what we need to see here please spirit for the lovely and beautiful capricorn let's get comfy Let's get comfy. Let's get cozy, Cappy. What do they need to know for love here, please, Spirit? Thank you. Be spontaneous and true love. So it looks like somebody's getting ready to take a chance here. Somebody's getting ready to come out and say something to you. Capricorn. Bottom of the deck is short-term connection, reaching out, fear of failure. Somebody wants to actually take this to the next level. Somebody wants to take this, it would seem like a short-term connection, what seems like something uh, may not be as long-term as you may want it. They want it to be long-term. And we see that with the energy of family and open up. This person doesn't want to fail at what they're trying to get after, right? This person doesn't want to... Um, you know, I don't want to look like a-hole, basically, right? This person is wanting to really, Capricorn, again, reach out and say something. Look at this. You got the Ten of Coins. Oh, my good golly gosh. Bottom of the deck is the Two of Coins. Somebody is choosing you. They're choosing stability. They're wanting the sense of stability. We have the Nine of Swords, but there's nervousness, right? This person is reliving their trauma, reliving their past, and a part of that can be very nerve-wracking and scary. So I want you guys to understand where this person is coming from. They're going to just kind of like jump the gun. Yeah, look at this. They're Like I said, they're just going to jump the gun and do it. Chariot energy. This person is going to go for it. It's just like, I'm just, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to see, you know, I have nothing to lose. You know, if this person says no, then they say no. But, you know, some people don't really know how to take that energy. Somebody don't, some people don't really know how to take the answer of no Capricorn. But this person, um, they're just going to go for it. They're like, fuck it. You know, I, I have nothing to lose. I've been sitting here thinking about this energy. I've been sitting here thinking about my Capricorn and it seems like they want stability. It seems like they want security. They want something that's going to last. They want something that's long term. This person's really been in their head a lot about the energy, which can bring back the past, can bring back trauma, but that's good because that's energy that really needs to be addressed. It needs to be worked on. It's like, why, why are you feeling this way? Why is this coming up here for you? Let's go ahead and see. You have the seven of cups here. This person is a little, there's a little bit of confusion going on with the choices or decisions that they're making. Let's take a look at this Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Coins. Tell us about the Ten of Coins here, please, Spirit, for Capricorn in love. I'm going to tell you right now, this person has a lot of freaking love for you. I mean, they, they probably want to actually get married. <laughs> oh my God. And with this short-term connection, you know what this person is saying? They're like, y'all aren't going to actually be in like the the talking phase dating phase for a long time like this person wants to move things like quickly tell us about the ten of coins here you've got the six of wands coming out here capricorn you've got the star give us one more here for the ten of coins the two of wands yeah this person 
you know, they're wanting to go after this wish, this hope, this dream that is theirs, right? This is something that they've had faith about. This is something that they've trusted. And they really hope that you, <laughs> you're going to say yes to with the two of wands and the six of wands here. You have Aries energy. You have Leo energy. This person's just going to go for it. Like there's, there's really no doubt about it. This person's going to go for it. They're very confident that this is going to lead to something successful. This is going to lead to something great. There's just sense of really needing to get over their nerves here. I got to get over my nerves. I got to get over my nerves. Tell us about this nine of swords here. Tell us about this nine of swords here. Eight of swords, three of wands. Yeah, this person is freaking, they're in their head about this. Right? They're really in their head about this. They know this is something that they want, Capricorn. They know this is something that is is going to bring them the happiness, the joy that they're looking for. I feel like if if this is your reading, you and this person are already in communication. Um, you and this person, you know, talk to each other either on a daily basis or a semi-daily basis. I don't feel like this is somebody that's coming out of the blue that you haven't talked to for years or somebody that you haven't talked to for months. This is somebody that you currently talk to. Um, four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Four of Wands. This person, again, they're looking for a sense of stability here. This person may have been afraid or fearful of um not being where they want to be this could be financially this could be uh physically in you know in 3d reality this could be just you know fear of what you may think about them or what you may think about you know whatever this person's moving past that you know they've been holding back a lot they've been keeping a lot to themselves but they really are going to express themselves here in the situation here tell us about the chariot tell us about the chariot here please yeah ace of swords it's the truth it's the truth it's about the truth and it's always going to be about the truth because this is what they want you have the king of wands and the nine of cups This person may have been um, overindulgent or selfish in the past. They're seeing things from a different perspective now. And it's putting them in the, in the position to find the confidence, the strength within themselves to make this move, to make this happen. Because this is something that they want completely. You know, this is something that they know is going to bring them the, the Ten of Pentacle energy that they've been looking for in their life. Show us more here, please, Spirit, for Capricorn. And the person that they're connecting to here. You have the Three of Wands. This is about a phase of growth, yeah. Seven of Coins. This is a brand new beginning you're getting ready to receive a blessing um that you've been waiting for that you've been cultivating and then the four of swords <sighs> with the sun at the bottom of the deck oh my goodness i feel like this is going to be something that does come out of nowhere i feel like your intuition may actually be picking up on this energy there's going to be a offer that's going to change your life right and it's it's not something that is going to change your day-to-day. -day. It's going to change your, your entirety, right? Your entirety of reality. You're getting something that you've been manifesting. You're getting something that you've been working for. You're going to have to, to go off on a new adventure. You're going to have to, to continue to grow and to continue to expand. Um, but I feel like you're actually picking up on what this energy is here yeah you have the sun the world and the knight of wands there's definitely a brand new um beginning that you're going to have to take action on take action towards you're completing this specific cycle in your life and you're opening up to a brand new one this could be a relationship this could be a new job um but this is something that is inevitable it was inevitable to happen and this person saying fuck it i'm just gonna go for it right i'm just gonna go for it 
because this is something that they want. Queen of Swords, so you have air energy, water energy. It's actually Virgo and Libra. This person's very adamant. They're very sure about what they want to create and what they want to have for you. You have the Seven of Pentacles, clarifying Seven of Pentacles. And the Ten of Cups. This is, you know, the truth of the matter is this person wants to invest in you. You know, they, they want to have a long-term relationship. They want to do something, you know, that's going to expand and, and give you both what you've been looking for here. Tell us about this Four of Swords. Tell us about this Four of Swords. Wow, you have the Four of Swords clarifying the Four of Swords. You have the Six of Cups. And wow, the Four of Cups. All I got to say is, is this person dreams a lot about you. They dream a lot about you. They think a lot about you. And you are a part of the stability that they've been wanting. This person, you've actually affected this person's um, practice. Uh, whether this be meditation, whether this be, you know, health, whatever. This person is very much in tuned with you um, and their energy, Capricorn. <sighs> yeah, this person loves you. <laughs> they feel like you and them have some sort of a soul partner, partnership, some sort of soul connection. Tell us about the three of wands here. The Eight of Wands, yeah, there's going to be something very fast coming in. You could be receiving different messages from this person. There could be a lot of, yeah, the Tower. So a quick and very unexpected change that's going to happen here between you and them. Yeah, High Priestess. I definitely feel like your intuition is picking up on this. I definitely feel like um, you're in the position to get ready to accept this into your life. I mean, it's it's up to you 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 know what this is you know who this is right that's not going to that's not something i'm telling you you know who this is you know what this is Show us what we need to see. Show us what we need to see here, please, Spirit. Show us what we need to see here, please, Spirit. Ooh. Show us what we need to see here, please, Spirit. See a third party energy, interference, cheating, competition, mistress. You have divine intervention. Heartbreak and regret. Friends, wedding, reconciliation. Wow. So it definitely seems like for whoever this is, there was some sort of third party situation that went on or there could have been some sort of Yeah, there was there was something something else going on here. Spirit intervened and it brought forth heartbreak and regret. Somebody realized that they chose the wrong person or they made a mistake um, and there was heartbreak in that situation. This is very specific. Um, and they're wanting to change this. Look at this third party breakup divine intervention heartbreak regret so somebody wow this all i gotta say is wow to this i don't know whose story this is but it literally is laying out that somebody either cheated um 
or was stepping out, something like that, and there's a breakup, there's heartbreak, somebody regrets it. This is karma that's coming in. With this new love energy, there's an this situation either happened in the past past or this is something that happened to like maybe you broke up with this person and now you're finding a new love or they're breaking up with you and they're finding a new love or again this happened in the past you're healing from that and now you're you're doing this look at this toxic relationship Capricorn, this, whoa, who's ever reading this is, whoever just tapped into this reading, I'm going to need you to tap on out. I'm going to leave this here. I love you guys. I appreciate you and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.